All right, do a little short video here. Um, getting a lot of comments and everything on the uh, cat, how I like the cat versus the Kubota. Um, I've got a little comparison out here. Uh, a couple people in the video were talking about the Fecon or the Fecon or however you pronounce it. I, I'm new at that as far as these uh, brush cutters go. But uh, got, a, got a shot of uh, two of them lined up together here. So there's the cat that I was running. And he's also got this Takahuchi here, or Takahuchi or Takahuchi, however you want to pronounce it. But anyways, he's got it with, that's that's got the Fecon uh, brush cutter on it, which it's got a lot better teeth than the other one. I have not ran this one yet. Um, this is the next one I run, want to run. Now, what I'm gonna do is do a comparison. So there's the cab on the Takahuchi, which is like the Kubota, it's real similar. Got a lot of room in it. And then here's the cab on the Cat, which is smaller, but it's still, what I like about it is, is the arms. Like right here, you can actually see right here through the window, when you're sitting in the seat, you can see your tracks. I do like that about this Cat. You can keep an eye on your tracks looking down through there where as far as your Takahuchi goes, you ain't got the, you ain't got the window down below. So, um, I do like, I like these tracks better. I do like these tracks better than these tracks. Um, power wise, I was real, real happy with the, uh, 299D, but, um, like I said, I, I have not got to run this one. I have ran a Takahuchi several times before, and I have liked it. I have liked the Takahuchi. Uh, Kubota, I think I've had more run time on it. I think maybe I feel more comfortable on it. That's why I would pick the Kubota over the Cat or the Takahuchi. But uh, that's just my opinion, guys. Uh, like I said, if I get more run time on them, I might change my mind. But uh, hopefully uh, next few weeks, I'll get a little more run time in. Thanks for watching, guys.